Air conditioning California homes account for about 14% of all the peak electrical energy that we use. And since we build about 130,000 new homes a year, that's a lot of energy. A big part of the energy that homes use takes place from their heating and cooling systems. In fact, about 25 to 30 cents out of every dollar that we spend on heating and cooling is lost through leaks in the ductwork. Joining me today is Scott Johnson, who's a home energy rater, and you diagnose and you certify homes to make sure that they meet the code. Now, you've inspected this home, Scott. What did you find? I found several problems with this home, Steve. Most of them are airflow problems. We've also found a few leakage points. This one right here in front of us, see the way this duct comes and it makes this real tight bend here? Well, it's restricting the air inside of there. It's never going to get downstairs where they, where they need it for the comfort of the occupants. And it's also going to uh, infringe on the... Uh, capacity and efficiency of the equipment itself too. How much would a kink in a duct like this reduce the airflow downstairs? 30 to 60 percent easy Steve. Could be more. That's pretty significant. Yeah. What other things did you find here? Well, I found uh, other restrictions. Uh, there's a restricted uh, return duct and there's a problem with a shaft. A shaft with many ducts running on the side of it. They get all compressed. Yeah, right? the, the, the shaft is just not big enough to accommodate the ducts. Any other problems you found in this house? The equipment leaks, the equipment's leaking air, and uh, there's a, uh, actually this one is leaking air too also. We'll see it on our smoke test. Now in, in general, the types of homes that you, you look at, what are the top ten things that you find? Uh, sheet metal, sheet metal joints leaking, where you hook flex ducts to sheet metal, and all the attachments at the equipment itself typically are the largest leakage culprits. What about supports, things of that nature? Oh yeah, the all, all the time. Uh, the installers uh, sometimes miss supports and the ducts are uh, sagging with age and gravity, and uh, you end up with uh, worse and worse airflow as the house ages. Now the code requires that they're supported, what, about every four feet? Every four feet, that's correct, Steve. What are the requirements around sealing the ducts? The code requires that there be no more than, what, 6% of fan flow? Correct. So that means that if I've got a 1200 CFM system, I can only leak 72 CFM. That doesn't sound like much. No, it's not, but uh, actually it's easy to meet that. It really is easy to meet that target. Now, you have set up some equipment, a duct blaster, where we can actually do a duct blast test on this home. Mm -hmm. Let's go try it. Set up. All right. So, Scott, this is what you call a rough-end duct blast test. Tell me about the machine and the test. Okay, Steve. Yeah, this is a simple test. What we do is we seal off all the outlets where the air is coming out of the house, into the house. That's what and, these foam blocks right, are for? For the, supply, for the supply boots. And we block off the return, uh, return uh, ducts, too. And this fan here forces air into the duct system okay under a given pressure which is 25 pascals for this test and that's and about the, the same as the system operates so you're not like blowing the ducts up oh no it's a very it's a minor amount of pressure small pressure doesn't injure the, the system at all and when we force air into the system the air going in is direct proportion if you added up all the leaks all the leaks added up together is the air that's coming inside the fan so it's very easy to diagnose not only where the leaks are at but how much they are absolutely well let's fire up the machine and see All how we right. do. Now this device here is what's called a manometer? Yeah, it's a digital manometer, Steve. It's a very accurate uh, pressure gauge. It's just simply measuring uh, pressure difference from one point to another. And right now, I'm testing the duct to a reference pressure of 25 pascals. And once we achieve that pressure, then we we switch it over to a different mode and it sees how much leakage it is. And right now we'll go ahead and get that number and it's, a, it's 66 cubic feet per minute and our maximum amount is 120. So we're just a little bit over half of what the test uh, can have. It's pretty good. Absolutely. Great now, system. Now where does most of the leakage uh, usually occur? Most of the leakage usually occurs and this system is no different. It occurs at the piece of equipment itself. So. Um, now, you have to be certified to basically do these tests Absolutely. in order to meet the code. Now, tell me about a, a HERS certified rater. Uh, what does that mean? Well, a HERS certified provider, which is California, it's CHEERS, California Home Energy Efficiency Rating System. They uh, train, certify, and do QA on raters. So not just anybody can go out and become a rater. Um, and you go through the training process, the testing procedures, and then they follow you up out in the field to make sure you indeed do know what you're doing. Yeah, well, I understand that you have a smoke generator here. Now, obviously, you always test just with air, but for demonstration purposes, you can help us find where the leaks Absolutely. are in this Absolutely, yeah. We can find exactly where they, are, where they are by introducing this smoke into the stream of air. And we can visually find where the leaks are. 
So well, I can see quite a bit is coming through the return, the return side, which is pretty important because that return air deck's up in the attic. Yeah. That means it could be sucking in 140 degree attic air into your um, air handling unit, which is going to really reduce the efficiency. Absolutely. Lose all our capacity to the attic instead of the inside like we want it. Also, I, there's quite a bit leaking out of the, um, the unit itself, the furnace. Now, there's not much the builder can do about that. No, because the, the HVAC contractor just has uh, spent some additional attention in sealing up the equipment how it comes from the factory. Where else do you find leaks? Uh, all over throughout the system. It just depends on if the guy has made a mistake in installing it or they maybe not uh, need a little bit of training on how to put their uh, components together. Well, thank you, Scott. Appreciate right, you being with us today.